I'm Miss Benita, and I live and teach in Seattle, Washington. Claude is looking for something to do. He's my cat. I've been looking for something to do too, and what I've been doing is making videos. And if this is your first time seeing one of our videos, welcome. This unit is called Ecosystem Restoration, and we have been building our learning to help us answer this question. How do organisms in an ecosystem get the matter and energy they need to grow and thrive? Before we get started, let's review lesson four. We watched a video showing otters in action. We gathered evidence to support our claim that animals grow by eating to add molecules to their body. We use household items to help us show how these otters grow when they eat. And we uh, used a simulation that helped us observe how sometimes food matter is used to build the body of an animal so it can grow. And sometimes the food matter is broken down and energy is released. This is the fifth video in the series and we will be looking at several activities uh, showing how animals use food matter. If you have the packet, you can follow along on pages 9 through 12. And if you don't have the packet, that's fine. You can just use paper that you find around your home. First activity, synthesizing ideas across multiple sources. Scientists do this very often. And we looked at the word synthesizing and we did do some synthesizing back in lesson three. But let's do some review. To synthesize, I want to create a metaphor, and we did this in lesson three as well. If you think of your ideas as different spools of yarn, different balls of yarn, and if you think of the knitting needles as your brain, as you learn from these different sources, these different ideas come together, your brain actually knits them together, like this hat. And when you think of it that way, the the yarn comes together in the knitting process to make one thing, well, you are making some new understanding. That's what we mean by synthesizing. All right, let's get going. As ecologist, our job is to figure out why the animals in the project area in the Costa Rican rainforest are not growing and thriving. To understand why that's happening, we're investigating this question. Scientists ask a lot of questions. How do animals grow? We recorded ideas from parts of this book, Matter Banks It All Up. Then we put these ideas together or synthesize them, try saying that word five times really fast, to come to a new understanding about how animals grow. So if you have that last packet, go into, back to that last page. If you don't, you can just follow along. What was the new understanding that you reached from the ideas in the book? Some of you said animals are made of matter. They grow by eating food, which is also made of matter. Feel free to pause the video and review this, this, uh, this packet sheet and join us when you're ready. <coughs> okay. When scientists are trying to answer a question, they find a lot of information from different sources, such as books, investigations, models, simulations. They synthesize all those ideas to help them come to a new understanding and to answer the question that they're, they're seeking. So we're going to do that once again, and we're going to use this, what we call a graphic organizer on page five in your packet. Again, if you don't have the packet, any piece of paper will do to record your ideas and jot down your questions. So we're going to gather uh, new information on how animals use food molecules to grow. Be thinking about that. Look at the book and, um, and the simulation that you have been working with. You can find access to, the, to those uh, in the packet and uh, it'll help you out. 
So you can pause the video if you need to return to that. Otherwise, see you in the next slide. Okay, I'll summarize your ideas here. So what did you record from Matter Makes It All Up? Okay, animals use food molecules to build new body molecules or for energy to move and grow. Jot that down right there. What about the sim? Did you go back and look at the sim or do you already have some ideas written down from when you last saw the, the ecosystem simulation? Let's see. All right, animals can't grow without eating food. They have to add new matter to make their bodies bigger and replace broken parts. We'll add that here. Now I'm gonna take these two ideas and synthesize them together to create a new idea. You can pause the video and do the same yourself. How about this? By putting these two ideas together, we can say that animals grow by eating food molecules and turning them into body molecules. So their bodies have more matter. If that's an idea that's similar to yours, that's great. And if you need to add some more to your new understanding from what we've been talking about here, you can do that as well. Because what we have just landed on is a key concept. Woohoo! Animals grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that can build their bodies. See, we built this idea slowly over time so that when we arrive at it, we are really firm with this idea. Feel free to jot this one down. We'll see it again. All right, I'm gonna take you a step further and I want you to think of a different way animals use food molecules. Think about that. I'll give you a hint. Hmm. This is another key concept. Ready? Animals use some food, food molecules to release energy for movement and growth. Woohoo! Growth and movement are an important part for everybody. So if you haven't gotten up and moved around today, this is a great time to pause the video and jump around a little bit. All right, activity two, showing food matter. Let's show what happens to the food molecules in an animal's body. This sheet is provided for you to cut out and rearrange. If you don't have scissors at home, you can just write in the spaces provided. These are images from the sim. Do you recognize these? What is happening to the rabbits? Place the cards under each image. You can use the cards more than once and you don't have to use all the cards. Pause the video so you can work on this. Okay, we're back. What does a family member think of, of the way you arrange these different cards? Do they agree with you? Why or why not? What would they change or what would they add? Did you add anything? Let's take a look. Let's start with the first column. The animal eats plant matter, and that's why the cube is represented as a green color. It represents the plant matter that it has eaten. Let's take a look at the next column. See what you said here. What's going on here? The rabbit's body digests the plant matter by breaking it down into smaller matter. Yeah, food is breaking down. Right. Let's take a look at this again one more time. Yeah, energy is released in this process. All right, let's look at the third column. Food matter turns into body matter. That's why the green cube turns blue. All right. We know where animals get the food molecules they need for growth, from the body molecules of the plants and animals they eat. 
what do the animals what do the animals do with these food molecules? Based on what happened in the sim, what happens to the food molecules in an animal's body? Okay, let's take a look. You might want to go back to the sim and uh, view it again with those questions in mind. As the rabbits eat the plants, they digest the plant matter as food. Food matter becomes energy and body matter. The rabbits use the energy to move and the body matter keeps the rabbits growing and thriving. Good job. This is our last activity in this video, making arguments about the investigation question. Now hold on there, let's pause and think about this word argument. Scientists use the word argument in a very different way than maybe we're familiar with. It is not engaging in a disagreement and it certainly isn't about fighting. A scientific argument means the use of evidence to say why one idea is the best idea. That's how scientists use the word argument. You have to know what your evidence is and it has to support your idea, and it has to be the best idea. Now we're ready to answer the question we've been investigating. How do animals grow? We've been looking at this for a couple of videos, haven't we? Okay, are you ready to answer this question? Get ready, because it's a key concept. I'm sure you have this idea in mind, right? Animals grow by changing food molecules, yep, you're right, into body molecules that build their bodies. Okay. We can think of this key concept as a claim that answers the question, how do animals grow? Remember, scientists investigate a question, and then they make a claim supported with evidence to answer that question. We call this a scientific argument. It's the best idea. When scientists make claims, they use evidence to support those ideas. What was the evidence that supported this claim? Remember the claim? Animals grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that build their bodies? All right, let's take a look because this is a wrap for today. We learned these key concepts as part of our evidence. Yes, animals grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that can build their bodies. That's a mouthful. What about this one? Animals use some food molecules to release energy for movement and growth. And the answer to our question, how animals grow? Animals grow by changing food molecules into body molecules that can build their bodies. Well, that's our wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, we've been spending some time with matter and energy. And now we're gonna take those two ideas, those, those, all those learnings that we've had, and we're gonna look at how food is used in an ecosystem in our next video. Bye for now.